Welcome to the Temba Electricals. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect or wire a 4 pin industrial socket. In my other video, I already showed how to connect a 3 pin. And today we are going to learn it, it, it is slightly different. And we are going to connect it to this yeah, this changeover switch because we are going to use electricity here and generator. So it, this one is not automatic. In my next video, I'll show you how to connect a changeover that is electrical to make this automatic we can make this automatic but now here the owner said he wants a manual one so you have to make sure your wires are okay and this one we are connecting it's a three phase our generator is three phase and this premise is connected to three phase from the utility so first you connect all your wires and make sure they are okay before connecting the generator or the wires from the generator and the industrial socket so you can see the way you are connecting our wires these are the wires that are going to the house, or rather we call them load. This wire to the load. So you make sure they are okay. And now we are going to connect our industrial socket. So as you can see, this is the industrial socket. And it has four pins so you open you open it first open it first like that so we are going to fix our wires here you can see we have four terminals there so we are going to fix our wires to these terminals so we we'll try to open faster so for you to put your wires you can either Remove this part here. Or you can remove here at the top here. So it's for you to choose depending on where you are installing this industrial socket. So you have to cut a wire to reasonable sizes. Like that. To enable us fix this thing or rather this industrial socket perfectly so your wires will go through here like this and then you will fix it to the wall so you have pulled your wires like that, you will fix that to the wall. And then now this is the, the male part. This is the male part. You can fix. Now you fix your wires to the three live lines. And then there's this big one, the big one the, with the big hole is where you connect your neutral. And it's clearly indicated.
like that. Now we fix our neutral. The neutral will fix it. <laughs> this is the other part, the big one, but it's clearly indicated so there's no guessing here. You make sure they are tight. <laughs> you strip your wires and then The other was the other one was female now this is the male so you do the same a very simple process but difficult for many so if you follow these simple steps you can you can be fixing them perfectly so this one is the one that comes from the generator. This one is the one that will supply us with power. And the one will supply us with power. So you fix the same way you fix the female is the way the same way you'll fix this one. This is the male. The female is the one that you will fix at the wall or you mount at the wall. It is as simple as that. <laughs> this is our dad life. And now you have to fix this. This part here, this is the one that will hold the wires not to come out of their terminals make sure it holds them perfectly so like and subscribe for you to see our other videos thank you